You understand? Anyways, y'all, that's it, that's all. Dance and dance and the fire, fire. What do you do? What do you do? La la gang. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great. Blessed and staying productive. I am doing good, doing great. Blessed and staying productive. Let me say happy Wednesday, happy hump day, happy that way, happy yeah. Anyways, y'all, just in case if you did not catch my last upload, there's the thumbnail. Go over and check it out. So in today's video, if you are stepping over here and you are new, I am talking about Miss Neglectful, Miss Miserable. I will also call her a uh, reality of motherhood and neglect. Okay, I will be discussing her today and also the situation with Naya basically jumping out here trying to work, gain the things that she has lost back. But somehow, somewhere in there, I'm just saying, being a full, I would say, reflection of your breeder will allow you to lose. And also allow you to lose when the sea moose, okay, is stepping into your situations I mean, ain't nobody going to deal with that, okay? So you'll forever lose, as I say, being entwined with her. So anyway, y'all, that's what I will be talking about. So let's jump right on in into today's reaction. Today's reaction video, y'all, I went back, okay? I needed to go back in order to entwine everything that I'm going to talk about today. So I went back. The title of that video is second part of my day. I want to give up now my life is a living nightmare. Okay? I also talked about yesterday in my video that uh, misery loves company. Okay, My life is a living nightmare, which means things is not in order. I'm dealing with a lot. A lot of things is against me and I just can't do as I should. Okay, And we're talking about that. I'm talking about she could display anything to us here on social media and the YouTube streets. But behind it, just as she said, her life is a living nightmare. That's what she gives. And not only with that, but with her kids as well. Because then that's where I said, if you don't get away or find a way to get out and you continue to let her, I would say, control you, okay? Like you are that puppet and control your ass and the situations and all those things you'll forever have. Nothing you'll forever lose and you'll forever look like a full reflection of her. So with that being said, she talked about a lot of things about her kids in the beginning of this video. And she also talked about the situation of her having to run up, okay, run up to Naya's job saying, you can have a problem with me, but basically don't mess with a child, okay? And then that's where I want to clear up Naya is 20, she is not a child. Okay, you want to run to the rescue and be there for your kids and be Captain Saver. You should be running to the rescue of Sai. When you go to any type of doctor office, stop lying on the fucking paperwork, I would say. You should be running to the rescue for Kira, okay, to make sure you actually do what needs to be done and get her front teeth pulled. Okay, do those things and run to the rescue for the rest of your kids. Just being there, okay, like this graduation ceremony that's coming up, be there for them, okay, show difference, try to change uh, what you would say a living nightmare to a better situation, that's what I would say, Talk about the short that she did, someone asked in the comment talking about Papa and Naya and them having clothes and socks and underwears, and here she come, okay, don't talk about a kid. They are not kids. Okay, talking about they have jobs and and this is the stuff right here that that pisses her off. We got to talk about just um, Papa having those socks and clothes and Naya has enough stuff too as well. Both of them got jobs. Both of them working, but y'all need to respect. If y'all have nothing nice to say, the mom ever told you don't say it at all. Period. It pisses you off because people start hitting you with the real shit because we watch you do laundry all the time. And y'all remember, 
This last laundry video, I believe she was folding proper pants and he only had two pair of pants. And then you would say, okay, so what the fuck have he been wearing this whole time? And that's where we see the kids wearing the same old clothes over and over again. And Papa does the same thing. We never see her having more than enough. And then that's where I say socks and all those things. So everybody's stuff is in there together for his undergarments and socks and all those things. I, I don't think they have it because I feel like that's why she's always in Dollar Tree buying a little dollar, 25, 35 pack of socks. Y'all know Dollar Tree done went up a fucking gain. I mean, from a dollar 25 to a dollar 35. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. So, I mean, um, and then the same thing with Naya, okay? She going out of town trying to spend a little time with her, yeah, and she need underworlds. And then you can see when Nika was at the store, she said, here's all your underwears right here. Do you want to take it and wash it? And then Naya was like, I guess so. Then that's where I say it's a filthy house. It's a filthy house with not having enough. It's a filthy house with wearing the same things over and over again. I think it's being uh, a breeder, uh, a mother, uh, Naya as being a young woman, an adult, and Papa as being a young adult, okay, for as being a male, you should have extra undergarments, okay, be able to change out and all those things, and not just having enough, as you can see, every time Nika go into Roses, she gotta get her something, and then that's where someone brought to my attention, saying, did you see Nika buy the same undergarment, okay, Underworlds is Naya. Naya is somebody that she look up to, okay? Want to be like. Not allowing Naya to live her life as Nika was able to live her life until she started fucking up and having all these kids and, and, and just letting everything go and not understanding when you bring life in. A lot of things have to shift. A lot of things have to change, whether you want to or not, okay? And then I feel like this is the situation with her. Um, the breeder, I was gonna call her the big back breeder. I done heard too many people say that. Look, uh, for as being a breeder, you... You don't want to give up of being selfish and all about me, okay? So, I don't want to give to my kids. But when she sit down and she give these little videos, okay, as I talked about yesterday where she talking about her children, her beautiful, beautiful children, and she provides all the things that they need, okay? They, they, they need a place to stay. They need water. They need lights. They need a bath. Uh, these are the things that she say that they need, that she needs to provide this is what she said then i have to go back and say they need more than that they need love they need nurture they need protection it's it's a lot of more things than just naming they need a roof over their head they okay they need clothes but you don't go out and get it that you saying bath but we all seen sigh at the doctor office yesterday a sad situation for this to be your youngest child okay since you're a stay-at-home mama it never should be hard it never should be hard to get the job done because i put all my time into my home that i mean i would think that it's supposed to be that way so there's no way that i would take her to the doctor office and She's out here looking like she need a bath. She haven't had a bath. Because as I said before, y'all, if you go a while without taking a bath, if anybody, okay, I would say your shape should and would change. You would be able to tell, like, dang, okay, they've been sweating and this and that, and it seems like a film or something over your skin. Right or wrong. So that's what you see with these kids. When you're looking at them, you don't see their true complexion because their their hygiene is not up where it needs to be there's no way that you could take a baby out for a doctor appointment or taking her anywhere you don't comb her hair you don't make sure she clean you don't make sure the bottom of her feet is clean you don't make sure she eat yeah that's where you say when you come on with these little rants right here i don't be want to hear that shit because this is some shit that you speaking for the moment to run the clock you understand? To run the time on the camera to make sure you reached about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I would say, call it bluff. Call it speaking bullshit. Okay? Because you don't bag that 
bag it up. And then where she also come, and I'm going to put a clip of saying, uh, a lot of people ask her, how does she deal with the criticism? Okay. Watch her contradict herself because as many times as you have came for me and other people about us speaking, okay, speaking what you put out, speaking what we see. And then she comes to say, it's not really criticism. Okay. This is, this is coming out of her mouth. It's not really, really criticism. It's just them talking about what they see. Oh, you find, you finally get this shit. Okay, but then turn around and say, you can't judge a book by its cover because we don't really know you. Then that's where I say, what year are we in? Okay, the people that was watching you on TikTok, following you on TikTok all those years, okay, the people that's watching and following you now <clears throat> on YouTube. Okay, we talking about we waiting in 24 now. Okay. You you was you still doing the same shit that you was doing in 23. Okay, 23 come. Okay, you still doing the same shit you was doing in 22. Okay. 22 come. You still doing the same shit you was doing in 21. Okay. 21 come. You still doing the same shit that you was doing in 2020. Okay. And may I continue to go on. So then you say, it's no more that we need to. To know, okay, because you show a fuck enough. We show it shows that there's no help with this case. She's pointless, okay. It's worthless because she'll never change. We're breathing, we're eating every day, we're clothed, you know, we have something to drive and get around. So I can't complain about the things that God has um, done in our life that He's continuing to do in our life. I've got big decisions that I have to make in order to be successful in this life that I'm living today. And I mean, it's crazy to say, you know, sometimes I feel like giving up and just say fuck it all. But when I look back at my children, I think about it. If they don't have me, then they have nobody. But at the same time, I also think about life itself raising my children. You know, I got two oldest kids in the home. You know, I be trying my best to try to steal into them. You know, you got to work, you got to do this, you got to do that, blah, 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 in order to live because nobody going to give you nothing in this world if you don't work for it. And I work hard on everything that I do when I make these videos to show y'all, you know, my life. Like, I'm putting my life on the line to, to make this money, to pay these bills and make ends meet and take care of my children and do everything that I need to do that's necessary for the sake of my beautiful, beautiful children. All ten of them. So at the end of the day, I mean, the struggle does get real. And as a single mom, like I used to say by choice, because, you know, I was in a relationship the last nine and a half years, you know, like I said, y'all know my book out there. He got married, and I used to cry a lot. I used to fight it, fight it out until I couldn't fight out no more. Now I'm by myself doing this. I feel more better doing this by myself with my children because I can raise them by myself without have to worry about a man. You know, I worry about anybody saying, okay, you can just send the third. But it's a lot that I have to deal with day in and day out. I'm trying to damn make sure I do that and make sure my heart's still beating every day. You know, I get tired, I get overwhelmed, stressed, and killed. But at the same time, y'all, I try my best to make sure every one of my kids are safe. They are healthy, they got everything they need and want. Most of the time, not really what they need, but what they want. Like, you know, I mean, not, excuse me, excuse me, not need, want. Everything they, everything they need, not want. I say everything they want, not need. They need, a, they need a place to stay, they need lights, they need food, they need water, they need clothes, they need bathe, they need whatever, stuff of that nature, stuff that I can provide. Stuff that they want, such as, you know, phones and computers and candy, gum, whatever that nature, y'all know what I'm trying to say. I just want to make sure I do everything correct for the sake of my children because I know sometimes it gets very hard out here to do the things that I do. As being a content creator, I get a lot of discrimination. Because this is who she is. She's out here and she's destroying lives, okay? Not nobody on the outside, but the lives that she have brought into this world. She allowing them to live the same fucking nightmare of what she say her life is. So then that's where I said, again, misery loves fucking company. Got okay. y'all. She's trying to instill into Papa and Naya that they have to work. And basically, like I say, shit, you don't eat. I mean, you don't work, you don't eat. I mean, you just, you got to make the way. Okay, can't nobody make the way for you. She said like, this is what she instilled in them. Then I would have to say, but what are you showing them? Okay. If you saying this is what you instill in them, how are you showing them the perfect example of what you are trying to instill within them? How are we doing that? Okay. So then that's where I say, it's a lot of talking, 
but she don't have shit to bag up. Then you say, you have to get out here and you have to work. What about you? I, I would say you have Naya, okay, running the social media, running the social media, trying to pour her feelings out of how she feeling or the things that she is going through and taking place. Then that's where I say somewhere in her downtime, within her quiet time, she knows who's really here for her and support her in the ways, the ways of getting far out here, not in the ways of, well, let me run to your job and let me check somebody or let me bring Papa and destroy the situation instead of telling you be a woman and handle your shit as you should. Okay, that's what I would say. But then she says she tries to instill within her older kids that you have to work. So if this is her way of making it, because then that's where I say if you go back, way back in the other videos, she was already trying to find a problem when talking about uh, Naya and her medical condition and her being at work and I'm on my way to go pick her up. I'm going to go inside. Let her be that young adult. Okay. You have too many other small kids that you need to worry about, okay? And run to their rescue ASAP instead of always trying to run and save Naya or save Papa when at some point they need to start knowing how to save themselves, especially if they throw their ass out here in that way, okay? That's what I would say. So she's talking about the situation and things that take place on YouTube and the people has so much to, things to say about her. She say, it's fine. Talk about me all you want. Talk about Shanika Grant, but not my child. Hmm. She's, she's referring to Naya, okay? She's referring to Naya in the situation that took place on her job. My children, but at the same time, respect is due to a dog, and a child has nothing to do with what I have going on. My life is totally different than a lot of people because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff on the internet and off the internet. Like I had a situation yesterday when I had her job, like I had to go and handle that because I'm not going to sit there and let nobody come out of their mouth sideways and try to feel like something is going on when it's not. Because my daughter's calm, cool, and click. She don't bother nobody. She she do her thing. And I, I feel like if a person really got anything to say about me or they watching my channel or they hate me, don't take it out on my kids. You know what I'm saying? Don't take it out on my kids. My kids have nothing to do with that. These kids are innocent. If anything that anybody got to say about Shanika Grant, say it. But my kids have nothing to do with that. So, like, yesterday was a job. Yesterday I had to go up there and I had to handle it. Like, yo, I'm here. Like, what, what's going on? What's up? Like, I don't got time for all that drama and that beat. My mom's somebody's mom. Like, you somebody, mom, uncle, auntie, whatever, brother, grandma, whatever. I respect people. Like, they say, respect your elders. I respect people. But at the same time, you're going to disrespect my daughter. I'm going to disrespect you. I don't care how old you are. You know what I'm saying? So, I just feel like a lot of things that goes on in my life, I can't talk about. But a lot of things that do go on in my life, I try to bend out to other people, let them know, you know, the struggle gets real. A lot of things I go through day in and day out. This is how I'm staying strong. This is how I'm doing things. This is how I manage myself. This is how I'm living. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't always judge somebody because of something that they post, something that they do, because y'all mad because the real shit comes out. I want them to realize out there. I don't got time to sit up here and go on and on and on about some petty bullshit that I don't even know nothing about. You know what I'm saying? All I can say is respect my children in the end, just respect my kids. We had the story. Everybody go ahead and open up the gate before he gets in there because he's right in front of the gate. Okay. I guess she's trying to say that. Just because you don't like her or you know of her, don't take it out on my child. My child has nothing to do with it. You know, confront me or go at me about it. And then that's why I say, that's the thing. You are destroying the life of your kids because of what you put out. And then saying people don't like it because you display the real. They judge and come at you because you put out the real. You the realest one out here. And that's why all these people come against you. You got it all twisted. You got it all fucking wrong. Because that's not the case. The real shit that you put out here is I'm Shanika Grant. And I'm fucking neglectful. Not giving a fuck about my kids. I'm selfish at as fuck and if you come entwined with me I will find some way to destroy your life somehow and then I will make sure I put my hands into your pocket your purse or your pocketbook each and every time just to make sure I have what I want when I want it you understand so then that's where I say using Naya okay just like this vehicle if y'all are already in the situation how can y'all bring something new or something used or bring another bill in when you are already struggling Okay, I don't care how you put it to say I'm not broke. I got money. I got this. 
when you are already living in a struggle, when you are already losing because every time you move and you lose in between the move, you lose in between the move because you ain't got enough coins. You ain't got enough coins to get a bigger story so you could play certain things. So then what takes place? You lose. You lose in between the move. How many times there have been situations at the school dealing with Leah because of who? Because of you. Okay? A lot of y'all run on social media and start these content creator and I'm a this channel, but then you have kids up under you. Okay, You have young adults up under you, but y'all don't think about what you putting out or, or, or then say what they might have to deal with of somebody not liking the shit that I put out here. Because then that's where I say the things that we see is very disgusting. Okay, it's very disgusting. Sometimes I wish that I could just come through the TV and just, I mean, snatch you up. Okay, like, wake the fuck up. Do you not see it? So then you get anybody to come in contact with anybody around you, and I feel like it'll be a problem. It'll be a problem because, yes, may have a problem with you, but her or daughter, why not address that shit? You understand? Or I, or I done seen her and I have a problem, but it's how I handle it, okay? But then I would jump back and say, full taking full fucking accountability, okay? You teach and instill what you give. You don't take accountability for no situation, nothing that is wrong. You don't even take accountability for taking Sai out the way that you did to the doctor office, not combing her hair, not making sure she was clean. You understand? You don't take accountability for the way that you fucking feed your kids. You don't take accountability for how you put your kids on here. You don't take accountability for the things that your kids lack and don't have because of you. You don't take accountability for not fucking stepping up and you don't take accountability for destroying your kids' lives. Period. Okay? You don't take accountability for none of that. So then that's the same thing that you teach Maya. <coughs> okay? They bullying me. Damn, that shit sound familiar. That shit sound like some shit I heard from grown ass fucking nigga. Talking about people on the other side of social media. We bullying, okay? People bullying her. Now you hear Naya, okay? You got grown ass 30 year old women bullying, bullying me, and I'm just 20. Well, at the end of the day, you can be 20, but if you're going to use your slick mouth, okay, I don't care how old you is, I'm going to come right back. You understand? If you put yourself in that position, I'm going to come right back. But the crazy part is you run off, but then you want to call for Mama Breeder. Mama Breeder to come run and save you. Okay? Mama Breeder to come get me out of my situation. This is your job. This is your work. You handle that shit. You understand? Then that's why I say you try to give her the benefit of the doubt, but then you look what she posts. Okay? Cussing people out. Uh, displaying the nursing home where she was working at and all these things. But see how y'all do. But y'all don't like it when somebody put y'all shit out on blast and put where you stand at and where you living and where you traveling to and what schools your kids going to. You don't like that shit. But you want to turn around and do this to the facility because you lost your job. But you're not going to say what you done, right? It was somebody else doing something to you. It was somebody else bullying you at work. It was so bad that you had to call your, your breeder and papa to step in. You couldn't handle the shit yourself? See, that's what I'm saying. And then that also explains why Nika always feel like she got to have somebody with her. Okay? They out of here, but they, they worried about their well-being of who's watching or who don't like me because of the neglect that I post each and every day that I'm fucking posting. Okay? I don't want to lose my life. Behind no internet beef. I don't, who said it? Who said anything about that? I think a lot of people will want to address you for what you give because the kids can't speak up for themselves. The kids can't speak up for themselves, but you continue to take advantage of the situation and continue to do them wrong. Because then that's where I say, you know, CPS ain't about shit, and I ain't probably ain't gonna do shit, and so you continue to do it. Then you say purposely. It's not purposely because this is just her. She don't want to know better and she don't know better. You understand? 
But then on the other hand, when Naya come on and pouring all her feelings of how she feel, okay, on snap, a lot of people will question and say, damn, do nigga never read her snap this, that? No, she probably don't. She can't comprehend with the shit. But when you see things like that or somebody going through a situation, I'm going to point this out. You can't step up and fucking help them. You can't reach your hand out. You can't come on here and address the, address them or address the situation of how can I handle this? How can I do better about it? But as soon as it's something for as, oh, I got a problem, somebody bullied, you jump fast on it. Fast on it to destroy the situation. Now she don't have a job. Because then you say this is your fucking intentions anyway. Okay? You don't want her to really work. Okay? And then I will go back to the video where when they didn't have a place to stay. Okay? When Naya told her to take her home. Okay? And then Nika said, where home at? Naya talked about working then. And you said they didn't have to get out there and work. It was your job to get out there and provide, provide for your family. But now, within this video, okay, you said what you are trying to instill within Papa and Naya. And then I will go to say, when does Papa have time to go step in a nursing home with his breeder, okay, to address somebody about his sister when he's supposed to be on the job and fucking working? It don't matter how you get on here and how you post it and how you talk about it. We know what the situation is anyway, okay? There's nothing good to come to nobody's situation and what they give it. Naya is 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 a full reflection of Nika coming up just like her, falling just like her within every situation. And then you say, shit, they fire you from the job. That shit go against you. Then you look into trying to see it's Amazon hiring. Shit, it ain't that hard to go look that shit up to see if they actually hiring, if that's where you want to go. But y'all some lazy ass fuck folk, okay? Want to be spoon fed in every situation. Then want you to pull out the burp cloth and pet your back and burp your ass. No, okay? If you gonna act out and act up, you, you receive the fucking consequences for it. I mean, and that's just how it go. And the same thing go with the breeder. She dished this shit at her, but she can't take it back. She can't take what everybody throwing back at her. She can't take it. You throw the shit out about your kids, about Taquan, and he battling, he battling addiction and all these things. But then once people start talking, then here you go. I want to see you run to your kids and save them in the fucking right way. You understand? Because I ain't running up to no job when I have a young woman, someone that I should be teaching of showing how to be a young woman, okay? How to carry yourself in a work environment, no matter what the situation may be. No matter who's coming against you for my reasons and the things that I put out here of them not liking me. But that's the excuse that you use all the time, okay? Everybody out here on social media is destroying your life. It's so bad that they are not only destroying your life, but now they're destroying Naya's life too, right? Hmm. If y'all noticed, she only run to save her kids when the situation is real. Okay? She ran and saved Papa and Aisha when they started that fucking fire. She ran and said that she saved Papa when he was out there uh, stealing out of Walmart. She took the fucking charge. Now she ran to the rescue for Naya and brought Papa along because, no, y'all not going to do this to my child. But she don't run and save them when they got a handout for help mentally, okay? Battling, battling an addiction. She don't run in that way. But anyway, to destroy, okay, I would say destroy them, destroy their name, allow them to be destroyed. She running, okay? She running, but not teaching them. See, within that situation where you you hurry up and you ran out and you, you, you took Papa to the DMV trying to cover up that situation, you should have taught him better, okay? Counterfeit. He out here playing around with counterfeit, but you tried to make a scene. You ain't know shit about it, okay? You don't you do not do shit like that. But you knew it before you left the house that the money didn't feel real, 
But you set your own daughter up for the full trap. If they was if they was gonna take anybody down, she was gonna be to blame. Y'all watch the situation. Now here we go. I've been trying to get Naya away from this job. Now she's saying somebody at work bullying her. Oh, I'm going up there. Okay? Because if they don't like me and they got a problem with me and they taking it out on you, they can't do this to my child. You are doing this shit to them. Okay? You are doing this. Do you not fucking see yourself? I'm just saying. And what you don't teach them, nobody else is going to do that shit. It ain't their job. You talking about Papa going out getting a job in orientation. Who gonna help him with his appearance? Who gonna help him with how to be and how to act and how to carry himself in a work environment, a work position? Surely not fucking you. I'm just saying. And I don't think anybody can come on here and call out, do they have enough? Because it don't look like it. How he going to work? We ain't never seen him wear a shoe in his life. I always got on bubble slides. But you ain't trying to change that shit up. Naya. Lacking underworlds, just ain't got herself together, losing it in her head, outside of her fucking head, within her life, losing around you, can't have shit because she's entwined with you, and you come along and continue to destroy it. So then that's where we say we already seen it coming, right? Of somehow, Nika is going to get this girl to leave the job, or she is going to get fired, because the breeder is running up okay she need to go to the hospital because she talking about she can't breathe i'm finna go in there and tell them she gotta go what rights do you have at the end of the day they did not interview you they did not fucking hire you they hired her so why is you running like the big bad sea moves thinking you can what that's what i'm saying i'm i'm not getting it and what y'all do most is run y'all mouth. Run y'all mouth, not speaking the truth, not telling the truth, not taking accountability, but then want some people to be on your side and understand what you're giving. Then that's where I will also say, yo, your daughter put herself in situations where you got to allow her to handle them for herself. Because then you jumping in and Papa jumping in as you say, oh, I can't have beef. I got to be here for my children. Well, shit, you better think about that shit before you run in looking like a sea moose. Like you can, what? Like you could check somebody. I'm just saying I think it's bad because I just read a message of Naya where she was talking about how she feel and how it seemed like everybody downs her, don't respect her feelings of how she feel and all that is aimed towards who is she fucking around all the time, okay? I'm not talking about who she fucking around. I'm talking about who is she around all the time. Nika. Nika don't want to hear that. Nigga don't want to hear nothing but money. So then it's going to be another situation because now she don't have a job. Okay? They trying to move. Got a, another vehicle within the situation. This is a whole mess. Everyone in the household is in a mess. In a bind. It's, it's a mess everywhere. And so the head. The head that I ain't teaching. She say she instilling, but she ain't fucking teaching. Does that make sense? She instilling, but she is not teaching. So Naya is fired, okay? <laughs> Went on social media talking about the manager, okay? Cussing the people out. Yeah, she went and got her mama, her breeder. Y'all not bad. Y'all can't do nothing to nobody. Because if you could, you can handle the situation by yourself. If you're going to run your mouth, you don't need nobody else. And Nika, the same thing go for you. You come on and you talk hot shit when you want to. Roll them some to streets by your fucking self and not having Papa, uh, Naya, or somebody with you. I'm just saying. For as Naya, girl, if you want to have something in life, if you actually want to have a better life, okay, no better, no better to do better. Get away from your breeder.
Okay. If you look at it, she can't teach you shit good, but anything is worth destroying. Okay. She run into it. She runs to it. Then I will also go to the comments where she's responding in her shorts. Why is it only the ones that you would call negative? What about your good people that actually say you a good mother? Why you never respond to them and say, you know what? Thank you for calling and saying I'm a good mother. Because somewhere in there, the rest of the people don't see it. This is what you like and this is what you gone for. This is what's destroying your life because it's the real you. Okay, this shit that you serve and you give on her the fake you with the lies and all that other shit trying to cover the real shit up. I mean. But be there for your kids in the right way. Okay? In the right way. Okay? Just like when uh Leah had the fight. You thought it was okay as being a, a parent, a breeder, and post that shit on Facebook. Disturbing. This is this is this is what you like, and this is why it continues to come your way. And not only does it come your way, but it starts hitting at your kids, at your kids because of what the fuck you are giving and who you are and what you dish out here. Then you say social media, this is my life is destroying. If it's destroying your kids' life and their well being, okay, why the fuck are you on here? Just go get a real job. Because as you told your older kids, you got to work, right? But somewhere in there, you ain't got to do it because you don't want to do it. But you don't run to save Papa, okay, battling addiction and pills and all these things. You, you don't run to Naya to the rescue to save her where she is mentally going through something. You understand? But I run to save her on her job. Okay? Trying to check somebody because ain't going to be no bullying. But now she's fired. How do you feel about that? But that's what you wanted her to be anyway. Because you didn't want her to go out there and work. Too afraid of her getting ahead. Getting ahead of you. Getting ahead of you and probably stepping out. Oh, and another thing. Did y'all hear? Okay. She's a single mother raising all these kids, 10 kids. She's not going to use single by choice anymore, okay? She's just raising her kids. And she wrote a book about it. And Hayward went and married somebody else. And she cried a lot, but she's better now. And it's okay. It's okay. She'd rather raise the kids by herself than basically having their father or a man in the picture. Did y'all hear that? Hmm. Okay. But I think it's a lot wrong when you have somebody that done had kids with you and not there to help you in no type of way. Not you haul, not pack, no food, not appointments, no bonding, no outings, no school visits, no fucking nothing. Okay. So, anyways. Now you won't know better until she learned better to do better, okay? Until she learned to get away. Once she learned to get away, then she will start to attract, okay, all the things that will allow her to be where she needs to be. But being entwined within this situation, she ain't going to never see the good. It's going to continue to be the way that it's been. And Nika is always running to the drama. She's always running to allow somebody else's life to be just like hers, which she is living a nightmare. So I'm here to destroy whatever I can. But when I bring it to social media, I give good words like, I love my children and I make sure, but I never said, I make sure they have love and nurturing and all these things. She never said that. I make sure we bun. I make she never said that. Clothes, water, lights, bath. You don't even make sure they have a bath. So I just dirty. I mean, it's not cool, it's not okay. Diaper rashes is because of you. You don't carry a diaper bag. You don't change a diaper when you out. You don't do none of those things. And you can't tell me as being a toddler, she is not wetting and pooping while y'all are out. 
Then you say, maybe she not because you refusing to feed and give her something to drink while y'all out and about. So I don't feel sorry for nobody in the situation. Naya won't better. She got to get away. That's all I can say. Anybody entwined with her, they're going to always have problems. Always. And now it explains why Keisha has backed the fuck away. A phone call or two, a chit chat here and there, but y'all don't see her stepping in. Y'all don't see her visiting. Y'all don't see them taking pictures. You don't do none of that because you know what's best for you. You understand? What attracts drama and problems because of who they are, what they put out here, how they treat their kids. You don't want to be entwined with that. Okay? I'm just saying. She know people is against her on social media, but she will continue to say it's because she put the real out here. Well, if real is fucking neglect, that is a problem. It's a full problem. And you shouldn't be posting on no platform. That's what I would say on this day. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all that I have for this reaction video. If y'all like this reaction video, let's throw those thumbs up. And if you have not, I do ask that you do do. Do, 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 do subscribe. But y'all already know, anything that It's Lala give over her ain't nothing never forced. But what I do ask for you to do is drop your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Sit sit what do you think about Naya? I ain't even been on this job a good six months and her ass is already out the door. She already fired. Y'all, they probably did get on her for stealing that salmon. Stealing that salmon out of there. Mm, I'm just saying. They said we don't need her serving lunch. I'm just saying. But anyways, y'all, let me know what y'all think about it. Do you feel like Nika tries to destroy her kid's life just so they can fall back and rely on her and not fucking have at the end of the day. Also, let me know, do you feel like Nika was trying to get her out of her position from day one by running to her job every day, okay? Lunch, going sit with her, it's always something. So what was the plan? What was the plot? What was you really trying to do? Then y'all run the social media like, oh, they just fucking wouldn't bothering us. Oh, bullying us. No, y'all are the problem. Your breeder, the head, I mean, is the full problem. Anyways, y'all see y'all on the next reaction video. Peace.